Hi, welcome to another copycat recipe episode here on Dole Whip Wishes and Castle Dreams. Today, we are gonna be making Tigger Tails from Disneyland. We've done some um, savory recipes, so I thought we'd switch it up a little bit this week and do um, a sweet one. It's been a while since we've done that, so we're gonna do Tigger Tails. Um, They're super yummy and relatively easy to make with just a few steps to do so. So I'm gonna put up your ingredient list. It's pretty short, but you can go ahead and pause it if you need more time. And then we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, first, I wanted to start off our recipe this time with our sprinkling of pixie dust. What this is, is it's something that's just a little bit extra uh, from what the recipe calls for, because we wanna add just a little bit more magic to our recipe, kind of like Disney adds a little bit more magic to everything they do. So for today, our sprinkling of pixie dust is right here. We've got dark chocolate and white chocolate that we'll be using for the recipe, but these are special because they're Giardelli, um, and I love Giardelli, and they actually have it at Downtown Disney. So I wanted to do um, that and not just like a generic chocolate today. So that's our sprinkling of pixie dust. Um, and why don't we go ahead and get started? Okay, so we're gonna start by taking our sticks and putting four regular size marshmallows on them. So just go ahead and push them down until you fit four. You wanna kind of get them as close to the center as possible. And then once you get those on there, um, I warmed up my caramel so it's a little thinner and I'm going to just cover it with my caramel sauce. Cover my marshmallows completely with my caramel sauce. Just get it all over. The marshmallows, not yourself. <laughs> okay. Strip it on down there. And then we're gonna put it on to, you see I've got my cooling rack um, and underneath it is my parchment paper just to catch any of our spills, drips. Um, and then I'm going to do this for all of them and I'm going to stick it in my fridge for about 20, 25 minutes just to help it set. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish these up and pop them in the fridge. Okay, we've let them sit in our fridge for about 20-25 minutes. Um, I also have my white chocolate melted, so I'm gonna go ahead and add red and yellow food coloring to it so we get that nice orange color from the Tigger Tails. So a little red, a little yellow, back to primary days and learning our colors. Mix those up. And then once we get this nice and mixed, we're going to, like we did with the caramel, pour it over our marshmallows. Okay, our chocolate is a nice orange color now, so you're also gonna wanna have your standing sugar ready um, to sprinkle on while the chocolate is still melted so it really sticks on there um, into the, the chocolate. And then we're just gonna kind of pour it over our marshmallows and just kind of spread it around. Get a little 
on the end. And then sprinkle our sugar on it. And then I'm just going to do that to the rest of them and we will move on to our next step. They're all set. I'm gonna pop them back into my fridge for just a little bit so they'll set before we do our stripes. Okay, we let them set, and then all we have left to do is our stripes. So I put my dark chocolate into a Ziploc bag um, and melted it, and now I'm just gonna cut a very small corner off. And then use that to pipe it onto, oops, our tiger tail. You're just gonna kind of alternate sides. One side. So I'm just going to do this to all of them and then they'll be done. So I'm done. So you can either serve them right away like this, or I want to put them in the fridge for just a little bit longer so that chocolate can um, really set because it's still a little bit runny. Um, so I think that'll help when we're eating them, but it's up to you. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe video. Um, if you haven't tried tiger tails before, you can give this a try um, and see if you like them, or you can head into the parks and give them a try. They are quite tasty, um, and it's a nice little snack to have um, when you're either at home now. You can have them at home or in the parks. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. We would love to have you as a part of our YouTube family, um, and be sure that you tap that bell so you don't miss any of our episodes. We do one each week, um, whether it's a copycat recipe video or a tips and tricks video. Um, we also do Disney crafts, so you can check those out. And then we also do a blog uh, for, or a vlog, I should say, for when we visit the parks. We bring you along for the fun of that as well. So there it is. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any requests, please leave them down in the comments below. We love to hear from you. And thanks for stopping by. We hope to see you real soon.